Today I am releasing AWS Networking Learning Pass. Let's take a look what it is. If you go to my website, which is dmfigle.me and click on my content, at the very top there is AWS Networking Learning Pass link. Here is an article I wrote, which describes what it is in much more details. The main link is here at the top, so let's look inside. AWS Networking Learning Pass is a curated list of resources with a goal to upskill you on AWS networking so you can design networks on AWS of any scale. There are around 100 resources here. My goal here is to have the list as condensed as possible. So I cherry pick resources. I don't put everything that I read or watch here. I only put resources here that I think are important or good. So let me explain you how you can use this. So this is a table. All of the resources here are listed in order. You can resize columns here. You can also export this to CSV if you want. Every resource is tagged with this importance field. So there are recommended resources, strongly recommended and optional. Optional are the ones that cover some specific feature or niche and you might not necessarily need that or you might not have that much free time. Another category is strongly recommended. So those are the highest quality resources with best speakers that you should definitely go through and not skip. And the rest of resources fall into recommended category. There is a column here called modify date. In the future, when I will be adding or updating some resource, I will be changing the state. So this is how you can keep track of changes. Prereq levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Most of the resources are at the beginner level. Some of them require you to be at intermediate level for a specific topic and very few resources need you to be at the advanced level beforehand. Some resources here also have some notes. All of the resources are also tagged appropriately with relevant service or topic. There are two all-in-one courses. So one is from AWS Skill Builder and one is from Adrian Cantrill. They are quite good, but I don't think they are enough. There are also at the top here three hands-on collections. I put them at the top so that you have them for easy access, but you will need to cover some fundamentals first before you can tackle them. Most of the resources on this list are free. If you have a suggestion of some resource it for example it covers some areas that i missed or maybe the piece of content itself is much better than what is listed here for the relevant topic or maybe you found a broken link feel free to use this form where you can submit your feedback so for example you can say i read this article or i watched this presentation and it's better in covering vpc fundamentals than whatever you have listed in your learning pass so i will carefully review that if i find that resource useful or better than existing ones i will add it to the learning pass let's go briefly to the article again i want to reiterate the goal here is not to put every resource that I find on the internet in the learning pass, it is curated. Before going through this, I recommend that you know two things. First, you have knowledge of core AWS services. So for example, EC2, S3, IAM, CloudWatch at approximately solutions architect associate level. So you can take some free course, some free training, or maybe some paid training, or maybe you have hands-on experience and you don't need that. Second thing, I would strongly recommend that you have fundamental networking knowledge at Cisco CCNA level or so. You need to know things like IP addressing, VLANs, how routing works, how switching works, static routing, BGP, GFCP, DNS, IPsec. I put here a link to Network Fundamentals playlist that was done by Adrian Cantrill, which I think is pretty good, but there are a number of other good resources to cover networking fundamentals. Those are your prerequisites. After you have those covered, you can go follow AWS Networking Learning Pass. However, if you want to build scalable 
architectures on AWS, I would also recommend you cover some additional areas which are outside of the scope of this learning path. So in particular, landing zones, things like AWS organizations, AWS control tower, maybe to like org formation or landing zone accelerator, infrastructure as code tools. So pick one or several of them, whatever you prefer because you need a way to implement this infrastructure consistently. And lastly, some serverless fundamentals. So you would want to know about Lambda event bridge staff functions paired with some programming language, maybe Python or JavaScript, but anything works. Every so often you would want to build some custom automation. Next, I want to mention the topics that are covered in AWS networking learning paths, and they are presented in this order. So starting from AWS network infrastructure, I just recorded a video on that and moving to the main networking construct on AWS, which is VPC and covering IP address management solution, looking into way how you can connect multiple VPCs with transit gateway, then connecting to on-premises data centers with site-to-site -site VPN or direct connect. Next is remote access VPN solution for your users wanting to connect to AWS environment, which would be AWS client VPN, not forgetting hybrid DNS setup is Route 53. Next is private link. So in my view, AWS private link is one of the most interesting technologies in AWS networking. Next, it would be cloud one, elastic load balancing, different networking security control on AWS, including firewall with gateway load balancer and AWS network firewall. One of the most important topics here on this list is network design and architecture. So there are a couple of resources that are specifically about different design choices that you can make, which I think is very important. Next is IPv6 on AWS, network observability and monitoring. Then another interesting topic, data transfer charges on AWS, how EKS networking works or how Lambda networking works. Then VPC Lattice to connect your services together, AWS verified access to allow zero trust access to your applications, edge services, things like AWS Global Accelerator, CloudFront, local zones, wavelength zones, outposts, etc. And then lastly, AWS Private 5G. So those are the main topics. I really hope you will find this learning path useful. Happy studying and reach out to me if you have any feedback. Thanks and until next time. Bye-bye.